So your last <laughs> symptom, painful, tingly butt. Now, oftentimes you're gonna get painful, tingly sensation, kind of runs down the back of your buttocks into your leg. Now that's sciatica, but we're talking about a little bit of a different painful, tingly sensation, more in the middle of your buttocks area. And by applause, how many of you think that the specialist you maybe should see is a, a cardiologist? I think we may have had one. B, a dermatologist. Or C, an ophthalmologist. Please oh, don't. God. Yeah, we got two people who are going to see you for tingling butt. It is B, dermatologist. And Dr. Lee, explain to us why. Well, so actually, um, tingling in the, in the buttock area is actually a common way for us as dermatologists to see this, this kind of condition, genital herpes. And re the reason is, is because genital herpes is actually more common or more prevalent in the population than you would think. And I get the nicest props here. <laughs> I get to draw a, a circle around the touch so you can see this is the distribution of this nerve, S2 and S3. It um, wraps around there to the front, okay? So we can diagnose this because usually people, oftentimes people will get a blister in the area and what we do is we de-roof it, we, we kind of scrape the base and we look at it under the microscope, we do what's called a Zank smear. And that will, we look for multinucleated giant cells and that will show us whether you have um, genital herpes or not. And you can also do a serologic test, you can do a blood test. And that will let you know whether you've ever been exposed to this virus. And many, many of us would be surprised to know that we actually do, we actually have been exposed to this virus, but we've maybe never showed signs of it. And it's interesting because there are some similarities between these two. Yes. These viruses, they live in your nerve root, yeah. and then when they're reactivated, they travel out to wherever that nerve root innervates the part of the body. And, and that's it's true why. That herpes is forever. It really is when you have it. But, it, you know, it shouldn't scare you because it's actually very common, and a lot of us live our lives and we never know that we have it. So it never but really you. You know what? This you. is a great example of your symptoms may not be as clear to you as you may think. Mm -hmm. And the beauty is, if you go see your primary care physician and they see these problems, they will refer you to the appropriate specialist, but this is one to grow on. I learned something today. Did you all? Mm -hmm.